He said, okay. So how does it feel that it all ends now? But does it end? I mean, this is, I had said this earlier today to someone, like, this is a, a film that leaves a legacy behind, you know? I don't, I don't think it ever, ever ends or it ever finishes. Uh, and I'm just incredibly humbled and, and great, grateful to have had an opportunity to partake in this, in this franchise. The fans, Lionsgate. Lionsgate does a tremendous job giving back to the fans as the fans give back to them. So it's a beautiful partnership, a beautiful relationship. And uh, I, I don't think it ends. I think it, I think it's a legacy that lives forever. Did did you, did you have a growing fan support for yourself? I mean, you, you know, being not being a major character, but being a very good sure. supporting character. That was the most impressive thing I thought. I was like, hey, as a as a minor character in the in the film, the amount of support and the amount of enthusiasm from these guys was was ginormous, and it and I, it took me. It really took me. And I thought, oh well, this will stop. Like this will just kind of you know go away eventually and it hasn't I mean they've been there through through everything they they always uh, supporting every project that I'm doing and they'll be they'll be fans for life as I'm fans of them for life now is there um, I know like the major characters and the major stars they all have like this family uh, you know um, how do you say sort of the synergy that they actually have but being in the minors with where you play with the other gladiator gladiatorial characters and so on. Do you guys also have your own club in Synergy too? I, I, I believe we did and, and and you know you spend three months on set with, with the same people you you know you hope that you have that kind of connection in Synergy and, and it really was we all knew how special this was you know we knew that like, this is special like this is really something unique and different and we knew the magnitude of it all so it brought us all a little closer together. So what was your favorite moment on on set i think for me it was being in hawaii in the jungle it was you know it was a real jungle it was these massive ravines and we were climbing in and out of the mud and i mean it was fun it was like a, a real real moment you know to have now definitely it's not gonna probably it's not gonna end and who knows you know rumors could spread there might be solo movies what do you think a solo movie for you what would you would come up with what kind of storyline for your character i think i'd i think i'd would team up there with PETA, you know, and uh, somehow, somehow find my way, you know, and, and align myself with PETA. Yeah. <laughs> Terrific. And um, one last question. Um, where to now for yourself? Well, I've got a film coming out in uh, the summer called Officer Down. It's a graphic novel film adaptation starring Kim Coates from Sons of Anarchy. It's being directed by the founder of Slipknot and uh, band member uh, Sean Crahan. Yeah, it's his directorial debut. Uh, and uh, co-directing and producing is Mark Neville Dean, who did Ghost Rider 2 Vengeance and Crank 1 and 2. So it's full of adrenaline full of in your face it makes no apologies it's a rated r movie for a reason it's a high octane it's the punch in the face the world's been waiting for still a lot of action hey yes. thank you very much thank Bruno. you Great. nice meeting okay, you likewise. thank you